there's an art form to racing, and I've lost countless hours to both Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsports in my time. Switch owners may have a decent selection of racing titles in the palm of their hands, but nothing quite like the racing titans of PlayStation and Xbox. Hot Lap Racing by Zero Game Studio doesn't claim to be on the same starting grid as Forza and Gran Turismo, but instead opts to give us a hybrid Simcade racing experience. What's it like? Put on your helmet, fasten your seatbelt, and start your engines as we review Hot Lap Racing on Nintendo Switch. Before we shift into first gear, would you mind liking and subscribing? It's the best way to help get What's It Like onto the podium, and I can't thank you enough for doing so. Hot Lap Racing makes a great first impression. Your job is to win a bunch of championships, following a range of disciplines from Formula One, classic hatches, GT, and supercars in order to unlock parts for your ultimate F1 vehicle and race in the ultimate F1 championship. It doesn't hamstring you by sticking you with a four-cylinder starter car either, giving you a certain amount of freedom to race with the best of them. After you get your license, of course. Obtaining your license can be done by completing around 10 smaller tests or by beating a certain challenge. But be warned, if you want to try the challenge first, it took me several attempts and that was after I finished all my license tests. Once I did though, I was free to burn rubber and I started to climb the championship ladder. There's a bit of depth here in career mode allowing you to move up by unlocking a certain amount of licenses which you obtain by completing races and championships. There's a reputation system in place and sometimes it's rather extreme, punishing you if you dare slide one tire off that chicane. It can heavily reduce your points earned, especially with the AI tripping you up at every turn, but more on that later. And it makes progression a bit slower than usual. There isn't any tuning or upgrading, so Hot Lap Racing is focused solely on the art of racing. There are unique challenges called events, which can unlock new cars to use in races. And these act as mini scenarios that are a nice diversion from the main championship and add a bit more value and opportunities to experience cars you may not have unlocked yet. Unfortunately, despite purchasing a retail copy, I was unable to test the multiplayer modes on launch as I was unable to be matched in a public session. I'm not 100% sure why. Offline though, there's a fair bit of tread on the tires of Hot Lap Racing, giving players plenty to do. The racing and handling model is somewhat similar to Gear Club Unlimited, although Hot Lap Racing leans more into the sim side of things. Despite a few vehicles having floaty physics, I really liked how the cars handled, and each model felt significantly different. There's also some cool easter eggs and throwbacks to games like Daytona USA by Sega, and it's very clear that Hot Lap Racing is a labour of love by racing fans for racing fans. Graphically, the car model detail is incredible, and while some are not officially licensed models, you can easily tell what car it's meant to be, especially when they give you a fun take on the liveries. Courses are interesting and varied, and textures, for the most part, are detailed and help build a believable world of motorsports. You can also customise your avatar, although depending on your preferred view, you may not see much of them. To help get your race day adrenaline pumping, the OST is a mix of electro pop, heavy metal, and electric guitar, and it gave me real Joe Satriani surfing with the alien vibes. It's a very eclectic and varied OST, but it actually works really well, especially when just cruising around the course or jostling for pole position. However, I found the car engine noises and screeching of tires sounded a little washed out, unfortunately. There are some more potholes on the racetrack, especially when it comes to your AI opponents, who will mess up your race more often than not. There were several times when racing when I would be in the lead only to be pitted by an opponent. AI cars seem to be stuck on rails, so trying to get revenge or pitting them is hard, and keeping the penalty system in mind, it's really not worth it. This wouldn't sting that much if there was an option to restart the current race you're on, but alas, even if you wipe out on the last lap, you either need to persevere or restart the entire championship. 
a lot of my losses in the game did feel cheap and cheated, and it made for a very frustrating experience, especially when you're losing through no fault of your own. This is easily the most glaring problem of the game, and it's a shame because when hot lap racing works, it really works, and it would almost certainly be a 90 out of 100 game, but when it doesn't work, it falls apart completely. Another issue I have is the game defaulting back to different settings after each race or championship, meaning when you select your car you have to manually switch the assist and back to the transmission you prefer. And this may not sound like a big deal except you can't go backwards from that selection, meaning you either have to quit to the home screen of your switch and open the game up again, or wait to enter the race and then quit out from there. There were so many times early on in the game that I entered a race in manual transmission, wondering why I couldn't get out of first gear. And I'm not sure why such an essential back button is missing, but hopefully it'll be added in a future update. Alongside these two issues, Heartlap Racing struggles to maintain a frame rate of 30 frames a second. I noticed drops along the starting grid, as well as the odd shuddering effect on the asphalt that made the game look like it was constantly running at a lower frame rate. For my vision impaired car races, there are no accessibility options, so I recommend further research to see if hot lap racing is for you. However, it does feature a bright driving line, indicating acceleration and braking, which may help provide some navigational markers. I have no doubts that hot lap racing will be updated and optimized in the future, but as it stands, it's blatantly obvious that an engine tune-up is needed. As we turn the final corner on this review, hot lap racing comes so close to taking pole position, only to fall victim to its own AI spinning it off track. It's a very impressive undertaking, especially considering that this is developed by an indie dev and the team's passion for motorsports does indeed shine through. For those keen racers, you'll find a great racing game in Hot Lap Racing, but for the less dedicated, the performance may turn off your ignition. There's a lot of motorsports history, great tracks and white knuckle racing in this package, and there's no doubt that Hot Lap Racing simply needs a small tune up to go from being a good racer to a great one. So, what's it like? Hot Lap Racing is like Gear Club crossed with Gran Turismo. I award it a 68 out of 100. Thanks so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. The best way you can support me is to like and subscribe and continue watching my content if you enjoy it. But if you do want to go that bit extra, you can buy me a coffee or join our Patreon which shows you behind the scenes of this channel. Thanks again.